Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today I want to share the iOS 6 jailbreak for the iPod Touch 4th generation, the iPhone 4, and the other uh, devices will be listed as well. But as you can see here, we have version 6.0 on the iPod Touch. The first one I want to share with you is called ProTube 2. And there was a version earlier of a ProTube 1, but uh, it had its own icon, it was its own separate application and everything. But what the developer has done with ProTube 2, they have integrated it into the Google YouTube application. And it works very nicely. Uh, I can show you some of the things it does right here. Let's go ahead and we'll get one of my videos here just to, for sake of being able to. But anyway, what, what it does, and you can see right here, we got some things across the top of the video here. We have an arrow that points down. And that lets you download. You can download just the audio. If you only don't want the if you don't need the video, you can like a song or something, you can just download the audio and save it in, into your uh, songs and listen to it that way. You can download in 240, 360, 720, or 1080 if the video supports that. However, my videos where I live at, I have to upload them at a lower rate because of the speed of my internet connection. But anyway, that's the reason the 720 and 1080 is not on there. But you also get some other things that you can do here. Uh, but that's one of the main things you can do with ProTube is download the video and the audio separately and it's all built right into the ProTube, into the YouTube application. And let's go over here and let me show you ProTube. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you some of its features inside of uh, Cydia. Why it's doing that, I couldn't tell you. But, you know, it's this is getting to be too long of a wait for this ProTube deal here. Okay, looks like the... Alright, here we are. It's compatible iOS 5 and 6 and you can see you get an add-on in the new YouTube Google uh, uh, YouTube app which is what I just told you. Here are some of the features. Download the video in 1080, 720, 240. Just the audio. Select video playback quality. Uh, import downloaded songs using Bridge. That's another awesome thing. If you if you know how to use Bridge, you can use this application, uh, ProTube 2, to download the songs and then import them into iTunes with Bridge. Or another tweak we're going to talk about called Music to iPod. All right, let's just let's just type it in here in the spotlight. Music. to iPod, alright? And it works basically the same way as Bridge. If you're familiar with Bridge, then you're going to know how to use this. Uh, you select your application that you want to download anything, any kind of video, audio file from, and inside there you can open things up and you can download audio and it, it'll save it right into your iTunes. This works real nice, it's easy, this is free as well. So keep that in mind. This is the free bridge, is it? So here's Panlower Downloader. And here if we could find a song. Alright, let's see. Well, and if you had downloaded something inside of the YouTube, then you would could have opened it up in here. But we didn't open, we didn't download anything, so that's where we've messed up. But you could also use uh, an, a tweak that that I'm going to talk about called 
universal downloader. And what it does, it's another type of downloader as well. And it allows you to download any type of video that you want to. Uh, if you want to download uh, some type of uh, video inside of uh, YouTube, then you can do it right from right inside here. And you see here you get full quality and resume videos and you get some several different things that you can do here inside video universal video download it's a pretty cool tweak so i'd check it out another cool tweak if you're big on emojis and i've already done a separate video on this is called quick emoji and what this does is if you need to put emojis in here then you can go to this third keyboard setting here, the shift, and then the other little button here. And down here at the bottom, you get five different icons. But if you hold down on one of those, you get a selection of several more. And there's hundreds of different ones. But you need to keep in mind that the person that you're sending this to has to have an iPhone or a device that reads emojis, or they're just going to see a bunch of scrambled up letters. That's what each, how they build each one of these is through a bunch of scrambled up letters. So keep that in mind if you send this to a friend and they don't see it, then that's what's going on. They, they don't have a compatible device, alright? And that's called Quick Emoji, and it's free as well. Another awesome tweak if you're into animation is called iOS Life. And this has been one of big hit that I've done on here. Uh, I've had about, I don't know, several thousand views on this video in just like a two or three week period. So people have really enjoyed using iOS Life. And let me show you what it does here. You go down here to iOS Life Settings. And you can enable things to animate on your lock screen, on your springboard, and even when you're in edit mode, you know, you put the little things in jiggle mode, you can make them flip or spin or whatever you want to make them do. You've got several different options here to choose from. And like I said, i got a full video review on this if you want to check it out. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible, so I'm not going into a lot of detail on these other than just telling you what they are. Another code tweak is called Shake Animations that's compatible with iOS 6. And what it does is when you have your device set, okay, and you have a lock screen up, what you can do is you can shake it and you see right here what it done. Alright, now watch this. Alright, if I shake the device, I'm not even, well, it's picking it up. I've got it turned up so sensitive it's picking it up. But you shake the device, you shake it, and I've got it set to suck and it's sucking in the middle. So watch this. So let's turn it on to, uh, well, actually, that, that one. Push top, push down from top, okay? Uh, and I've got it to repeat five times. And we'll do the tr turn the turn it on with triple press. Alright. Alright, it's not it's not coming up right. Give me just a second. Activation. Uh, let's do double press. Now it's on. Alright, now when I go to here and I shake it, alright, now you see how it's scrolling down from the top. Alright. I've also got this other tweak enabled here and it's sucking to, it's sucking and doing all this together. I've got so many tweaks on here, it's got everything all screwed up. But anyway, from the lock screen, you can shake it. And you can change that animation right there to do anything you want it to do, any number of times you want it to do it. And you can even set it to do things on the springboard like the same thing like it does right there. So let me turn this off. Alright, now you can enable and disable it with a 
activator gesture, which I just did. I double pressed it and got it turned on, you know, turned it off with that. All right, another one is called SMS Stats. And there again, I did a full review on this. And what this does is it shows how many text messages you sent. And if you have a prepaid uh, device or you have to keep track of how many SMS messages you send monthly, this is an awesome way to do that. And you can see right here, SMS 106, iMessage 1,466. I've received 662 and sent 910. So that's a whole lot of iMessages, guys. Check it out. Another awesome thing that you're probably seeing coming up here is called Banner. This like Banner Border. All right? And what Banner Border does is it, it puts a little banner around... Activation, triple press, all right. It puts a little banner around your banner right here, a border around your banner. And you can see you can change it to be several different colors. All right, we'll go in here to banner border right here. And we got, right now I've got it on cayenne. I can turn it to purple. All right, now you can see you can barely see it, but it is purple. And you can change the width and so on of it a little bit. But another code tweak is, is in the camera. You can add some different things inside here. White balance and you can add a little button right down there. I like that little button. You can uh, set a timer. You can set exposure over here if you want to. And, and you can still uh, set your uh, whatever there. You can do you can do two things at once. You can set exposure in one place, and you can get it to zoom in on something in another place. And you can enable white balance, turn on and off right there. You can lock it, and you can you can set uh, activation right here of a uh, timers and time lapses and uh, timers and you can even do little things here. I don't know what this little scroll bar is called but I'm sure there's a photography name for it. But anyway you can change the si the type of square. You see I've got a square around it right there. That, that's a cool tweet guys. You need to check it out. But I think I've gone over all of them that I wanted to go over. So right there guys it's pretty cool tweaks. If you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button before you leave and keep coming back.